I had to use this one and a half sequined when I lost uh, David Letterman last night and seeing the uh, first one's uh, performance I was uh, really impressed how the band that uh, went from using their banjos from their last album but with their new album I say to say uh, it, was, it was a good move for a band like Come Up For to really change up their music style because for any band out there that that doesn't change up their music style you're just gonna stay stale for periods and periods of time but you change your music style and new album and most people are like oh wow this band Got a new album, got a new sound. Not, they're not like their old stuff. Because when I first saw I think was their last album, was their biggest single I will wait, it was with, with, with their banjos and all that. But with their new album, they stripped it all down, they pulled them off, Dylan, got rid of all the banjos with their uh, guitars. It's just like, wow, that's, that's a really great move. But I definitely think it would still be May. There's still a lot of great albums coming down the pipe. I know uh, Pace of Moore is dropping a new album. First album in oh, a long time. I know Breaking Benjamin is releasing a new album. But there's, there's still a lot of great albums coming out at least in May, June. We are proud to go for many thoughts. <coughs> to defend our values and freedom. And make the world a safer place. We are the Canadian. Armed Forces. That's our job. This was yesterday when I was at uh, Lower House, and I was the only one who wanted to track out when I was at Waterfall. But I was like, no, I want to get the new one for some time. Because you know, sometimes I'm. I am quite picky when it comes to buying new albums. I want to like. The new new album, I don't want to buy their band album, but you know, new my friend Sun's album, uh, so I know Hinder's new album is called Till May 12th when the smoke clears. Um, Cole, yeah, it's a uh, white snake. To me, I never thought in a million years for a band that's been around a long time when you're dropping a new album called the Purple Album. This album is a 12 studio album, which hard rock now, White 13 remakes of songs from Deep Purple Band, Deep, Deep Purple Band lineups. So it's kind of like a Deep Purple type tribute uh, album. Cold Chamber. They're dropping a new one called Rivals. Cold Chamber's first release of 12 and Dark Days. So the Isle of Nothing. Yeah, I guess I know Cold Chamber is the uh, alternative uh, band. Probably by uh, Delver from my desk for our copy of the album in the 19th in the drums. Uh, Face No More. Uh, Soul Invictus. The album is set to swing out there from America, Rockland, Face No More, because we're in the 19th. This is a Face No More's 
first to the most expensive album of the year. You know, that's, that's uh, quite a long time for a band like Based on War. That's been around the music block uh, a long time. They were released out of Carolina Jews or so. The Fields of Evil does King for a day. Well, for a lifetime album of the year with the next seven was the last album. It kind of took a break, kind of like, because you know most bands that they release five or six great albums and they need to like take a break like step back for a couple of years and then appear this year with a new album coming out that's quite a long time I was dropping a new album of Wasteland and going into June. Muse dropping new album, Drones, uh, Lambert, Original High, News of Fun Fames dropping new Soul Day UO, uh, Neil Young's dropping another album, uh, The Chemical Brothers dropping a new album for the Narcos. <coughs> Daptones are releasing a new album. They're scheduled on the base date, but they haven't uh, put out the uh, album title. Other bands are releasing a new album. Biscuits releasing a new album. They haven't released a release date, but they have got album titles. Tempe and Disco Elephants. There's a lot of great albums coming out, May, June, 